DMCI warns that Mainilad is at risk of facing financial problems should its creditors simultaneously demand payment of loans worth 42 billion pesos. And that's an immediate risk because DMCI says material changes in the water firm's contract will turn all its loans due and demandable, which will allow creditors to demand full payment. Manilad has also suspended its CapEx program pending resolution of issues concerning its concession contract. But the MWSS clarifies that the extension of water concession deals have not been outrightly revoked, only the board resolution outlining the terms of the extension. The um, intention naman is uh, not to totally uh, to put out, uh, out of the picture the concessionaire, but uh, I think the, uh, the president what wants is to start a new contract. So, yun lang. So, kung ano yung ibibigay ng DOJ sa atin na kontrata, then we offer it to the to concession. And if they offer to the concession and they will accept it, I think that's the only, uh, yun lang siguro ang kasimple lang gusto ng President na we start a new contract without the onerous provision. threatened to take over Maynilad and Manila Water because of onerous water concession contracts with the government. Duterte's beef with the two water firms started with the water shortage in Luzon last March, but economist Raul Fabella says Maynilad and Manila Water are not to blame for the water crisis. A, a quotation from the chief regulator at that time, mm. Mr. T. Yeah. Patrick T. Patrick T. Yeah. When he was asked who is to blame, he said, we are to blame. You cannot blame the concessions concessionaires mm. for the uh, uh, for the lack of water. Finance Secretary Sunny Dominguez is now urging both water firms to submit their proposals for new contract terms. Dominguez said such contracts should not set fixed returns and should be based on what prevailing interest rates are.